24-hour double-pole, single-throw time switch that can be used for general timing applications. It features a power failure backup that doesn't require batteries and is an economical upgrade from traditional electromechanical dial timers. This video will cover basic programming, including steps to set the time and date, the daylight savings feature, and how to set the timer for basic programming. Icons on the lower screen will help you navigate. Before starting, you will want to write down the schedule you want the timer to operate on. This will be a helpful reference when programming the timer. First, list each on and off event. Examples might be turn on at 6 a.m. and off at 7 p.m. Note that each on and off will be a separate event when programming. When power is connected to the timer, the LCD screen should be flashing the message 12 o'clock. This timer has only a 12-hour time format, so you will need to pay attention to AM and PM settings when programming. If the screen is blank, press the reset button. Press Mode to begin. We're now going to set the current time. To set the current time, press the hour and minute button. We will set the current time to 8.15 a.m. Watch for the change from a.m. to p.m. Press Enter to save. Next, let's set the current date. You should see a date to prompt entry on this screen. Press the buttons marked month, date, and year to show today's date. We will set the date to March 5, 2014. Press Enter to save. The Torque E103B is preset for daylight savings dates. This is indicated by DST on on the LCD screen. If you live in an area that follows daylight savings time, then nothing more needs to be done. Simply press mode to continue. If you live in an area that does not follow daylight savings time, press DEL button to change screen to DST off, then press enter. We will leave daylight savings time on for this example. Press mode to continue. Before we begin scheduling, there are some things to keep in mind. You will need to enter a separate event for each on and off. Each event can be an on or off type you will get to choose. For custom time only events, a handy tip is to program all the on events first and off events second. We will now set the timer for a basic schedule. For this example, we will set the timer to turn on at 6 a.m. and off at 7 p.m. daily. Be sure the LCD says SCH. Now let's begin. We are first going to set the on event. For this example, we will be setting the timer to turn on at 6 a.m. daily. Press the hour button and 12 a.m. is showing on the screen. Press the event button to change this event from off to on. Now use the buttons marked hour and minute to set the first on time. We will set hours to 6 a.m. Be sure to note a.m. p.m. setting. The first event is complete. Press enter to save. We're now going to set our second event. In this case, you will set the timer to turn off at 7 p.m. daily. 0, 2 will show above SCH. This is the second event. Press the hour button and 12 a.m. is showing on the screen. The screen already shows event as off, so we will leave this alone. Now use the buttons marked hour and minute to change the screen to show 7 p.m. Be sure to note a.m. p.m. Press enter to save. From here, you can enter a third event. If you do not have to enter any more events, press mode once to go to auto screen. You have now completed basic programming of the Torque E103B.